Hello everybody and today we're doing something revolutionary we're using economics to make a comic oh. have you seen that meme? today we'll be using the concept of my favorite subject economics to create a comic what do I exactly mean when I say we're going to be using economics to create a comic? Well, we would be using the concept of economics and we're going to make a comic with the concept of economic. How do I get this beautiful idea, you ask? Okay, so the first concept of economics you need to understand is supply and demand. Without supply, without demand, there is no supply and demand. Yes, it makes perfect sense. So, I'm going to create a curve which is known as a demand curve. So, demand curve goes like this. Okay, it's a demand curve. Can you see it properly? There's a demand and the demand declines with the... Uh, there's a price and there's a demand. Oh, fuck okay so there's going to be a demand here and there's going to be a price here price and demand and the other thing you need to realize is that this is the demand curve it declines with the increase in prices and there's a supply curve like this which increases with the increase in prices okay and there is this point of intersection which is called as the market equilibrium which means there's this point is where this is where the shit happens this is exactly what you want this one right here this motherfucker right here all the worse for this but what if there's a lack of supply well the supply shrinks so does the demand have to shrink that means uh, less product at more price so obviously we're going to create a, an actor who is in, in excess of demand but the supply is less meaning the supply is less the demand is more that means our character is in is in trouble god damn it freaking i have no script i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> That is, that was concept number one. Now it's going to be concept number two. Concept number two is very simple. It's called production possibility curve. Also known as PPF. PP. You can call it production possibility frontier curve. Or you can call it PP curve. Production possibility curve says simple. That there are two goods. X, good X and good Y. And there's a curve. And a consumer can afford this curve. How about we name the main character? I would I want to say Muhammad, but I don't think that's the kind of humor we are looking for. I'm going to name the character Joe. Joe Mama. So now we're done with the what's going to be the third concept for our third window in the comic book. Anyone? Okay, the third concept is fairly simple. It's called the budget line. The budget line is very simple, guys. It goes something like this and it has good X and good Y on the X axis and there's a budget line this is the budget what does that mean it means simple this is the amount of good X or Y you can afford in this triangle in this triangle is the amount of product X and product Y that you can afford you cannot afford this. Nah, -uh. no, you poopy poop poop. You cannot afford this. Stop. This is Supreme T-shirt. You can seriously believe you can buy a Supreme T-shirt. You dum dums. So this is the budget line. I know it's getting too hard for you, dummy dum dums, to understand what economics is. We're gonna have four windows. Our character is Joe. Concept one was uh, demand and supply. Concept second was production possibility curve. Production possibility curve, the amount of uh, 
things amount of product of good x and good y can be produced in the same level of resources so we have a character and the character is obviously going to be joe and joe is hungry this is joe and joe is hungry as you can clearly see because lack of supply is making joe hungry economics i told you you're gonna love this shit it goes to the market obviously production possibility curve what was that because two products made with finite two products made with finite resources that's what production possibility curve shows okay finite resource don't get confused with budget line budget line is different okay i know you have a tiny brain but i want you to pay attention to this this is important this is my career right there goes to the shopping mart the shopping mart has this Ooh, he's gonna kill you he's don't don't make fun of my art please this is the guy in a robe okay that's a robe and you can clearly see there's a this is a guy and he's definitely not smiling our main guy goes there joe mama goes there and he demands give me a potato brother give me a potato brother get it he's irish <laughs> surprise, surprise give me a potato brother and obviously the guy in the robe turns out surprise surprise he reveals himself and it turns out this guy turns out the guy in the robe is a british guy <laughs> and he demands hundred dollars for a potato that's outside the budget line of joe mama guess what happens next joe mama cannot afford it's outside of the budget line he has a budget of only ten dollars and the british guy obviously being british demands hundred dollars for a single potato what happens joe mama dies he's dead <laughs> surprise surprise plot twist this was a comic about british colonization of ireland